Hey Scrabble fans, Will here. One of the most common questions I get is, how did you learn the words? How do you study the Scrabble dictionary? So I thought I'd make a video answering that question. Keep in mind, if you ask 10 strong players how they learn new words, you'll probably get 10 different answers. That being said, this is how I and many other elite players learned the Scrabble Dictionary, and these techniques can work wonders for you, too. If you're looking to add that next dimension to your Scrabble game, improving your ability to find 7 and 8 letter bingos is a great start. In my video on finding bingos, I discuss how you can use your brain's innate ability to unscramble words along with a good understanding of prefixes and especially suffixes to start finding seven and eight letter words you already know. But if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, you'll need to learn some sevens and eights that you don't already know. With so many of these words in the dictionary, where should you start? The answer lies in the letter distribution of Scrabble. The letters that score only one or two points appear much more frequently than the high point letters. If your goal is to improve at Scrabble as quickly as possible, the longer words you'll want to learn first are the ones composed primarily of low point letters, words you'll see over and over again in game. The term we use for how likely a word is to appear in a Scrabble game is probability. And words composed of low point tiles are known as high probability bingos. There are several tools you can use that have already done all the work for you to determine the highest probability words that you should learn first. My primary word study tool is Ziziva. Download links for it are in the video description. It's an incredibly powerful program for learning new words. Here's how it works. Let's say you'd like to learn the 50 highest probability seven letter words with Ziziva. Open a new search tab and set the first parameter to word length with min and max of seven. Then click plus to open another parameter and set it to probability order zero to 50. Then click search and up comes your word list. Right-click anywhere on the list and select Quiz from List to start your quiz. Don't be alarmed if it feels impossible to unscramble these words at first. That was my experience too. I promise you that it gets much easier with practice. Also notice that even though we searched for 50 words, there are fewer than 50 questions in the quiz because many of the highest probability words are anagrams of one another you'll find that some of the questions have many answers. The real power of Ziziva lies in the card box system. I exclusively use the card box feature of Ziziva to learn new words. This is a flashcard based system that automatically sorts words by how well you know them. When you guess a word correctly, it advances in the card box and you'll see it less frequently. Whereas, you'll see the words you struggle with every day until you start getting them right. To add words to your card box, simply generate the list of words you'd like to add the same way I showed you earlier, then select Add Words to Card Box when you right-click the list. To start out, I recommend placing all new words in Card Box 0, which means you'll see all of these words on your very next card box quiz. Once you add a batch of words, click the quiz button and select card box from the quiz method field. Now, when you do your quiz, getting words correct will cause them to advance to the next highest box where you'll see them less frequently. Whereas any words you can't get remain in card box zero and you'll see them again the very next day. Here are some of my tips to get the most out of the card box. Add words in small batches as you get used to the system. Adding a ton of words all at once defeats the purpose. If you encounter a word in your card box that you feel very, very confident you would see during a game, you can use the move button to manually place that word into a higher card box. That way, more of your time will be spent on the words you really need practice to see. But my most important tip is this. Pick a time of day and a number of words that you can repeat day in, day out. For the card box to work, you really need to stick with it and make it a part of your daily routine. 
If that means you do it for five or 10 minutes each day, that's totally fine. Another website I haven't personally used that you might find very useful for this purpose is Xerophin. Many players love Xerophin just as much as I love Ziziva for word study. Another great resource is Aerolith, a site that turns anagramming words into fast-paced timed challenges. Viewers of my Twitch channel know I love Aerolith, but I consider Aerolith to be an indicator of the progress I've made with my Ziziva study and a way to review words that I already know as opposed to a technique for learning new words. The approach for learning short words is a bit different. You can definitely still use the card box for short words as well, but the problem with a lot of shorter words is that it's easier to anagram them, but harder to recall their validity during a game. Let's say you're just starting out in Scrabble and really want to nail down the two letter words. If you just do an anagram quiz, it's going to be too easy to get the answers without actually solidifying your command of these words. What I recommend for shorter words is the word list recall quiz type. To make a word list recall quiz, hit the quiz button and select word list recall from the quiz type field. Then add parameters to narrow down the list of words you'd like to appear on the quiz. In this example, it's the two letter words. Once the quiz has started, it's up to you to recall as many two-letter words as you can. This is a much better way to ensure that you really know these shorter words. Being able to recall them from memory without being prompted by the letters shows that you know them cold. You can use this technique for subsets of the three and four letter words as well, but I find that once you hit five letter words and longer, this method becomes too inefficient to be worth your time. Another closely related question I get all the time is, which words should I learn first? So I made a very, very unscientific tier list. For me, I would rank the importance of different groups of words as follows. The two letter words are unquestionably the most important. They're useful on their own and they open up more places to play all the other longer words you learn. The next tier down has some words of different lengths. You'll need them all as you start your journey as a Scrabble player. Shorter words score with your higher point tiles and allow you to dump excess vowels and longer words allow you to bingo with your low point tiles. From there, just continue to add words to your repertoire as you feel you need them to improve your game. Learning the words in the top two tiers is a tremendous start for you and shouldn't take that much time and energy to achieve. There you have it. That's basically everything I know about learning the Scrabble Dictionary. Remember, just a few minutes each day should be enough to take your game to the next level. And if the study techniques from this video are boring you to tears, Try something different that you find more fun.